Ryan Starr is set to release his major label debut album, 1159, and he's hitting his hometown of New York City for a show at Irving Plaza to commemorate the release today, Tuesday, August 3rd. The song Breathe is currently number 15 at Hot AC Radio, and he's starting to break through to the mainstream with force. For the success of the tune, Star may have Yoda of Star Wars to thank. On my refrigerator, I actually have a, a Yoda doll that uh, sits sits atop the fridge, and uh, you hit the button, and it, and it, and, he, and he gives you Yoda isms. All you know, the force is strong in this one. It is, you know, that kind of thing. And then uh, on top of that, I have a. It's a very powerful thing because uh, when my song Breathe started charting on the radio charts, people called me up and they said, "You should really pop champagne open. This is a big deal. This is kind of the start." I'm thinking to myself. Charting. What, what does that mean? We're number thirty-nine. Who, that's not. That's not really charting. I said it's more like sharding up until you go top twenty, right? So we put it up. Uh, put the cork on top of this Yoda doll. It says thirty-nine. On the other side it says number one. And every morning I wake up and I hit it. Hear what Yoda has to say. And I look at the number one. I turn it back around, waiting. And uh, yeah. So there, it's funny you talk about the force because it it, it is uh, it is a part of my soul here. It's my religion. <laughs> not to be too geeky for everyone out there, but you know. We, we all get it. You know what I'm talking about. Star talked about the biggest obstacle in getting 11.59 out. Obstacle. That's a good way of looking at it. I, could, I, I look at the last four years of my life, and it seems like one of those American Gladiator things. And, like, just at the end, when you're ready, you think you're ready, those guys are, like, right behind. you got to choose the right, right pathway, you know? Nitro, oh, no. Uh, man, every step of the way, man, it's just, it's just life, right? I mean, it's not like anything new. Nothing I'm going to say as a musician is going to... You know, be any different than anybody else living, but um, everything from writing the songs and really taking my time with that, and making songs that can connect on a more universal level. He added, "I always talk about film and how it inspires me, and I'm so so impressed how a, a director or a filmmaker could, in three hours' time, two hours' time, you know, take you into a life that you had nothing to do with, and by the end of it, you know, be sobbing like uh, Toy Story, kill me, you know." <laughs> uh, and I think that. That's powerful, and like what they're doing in that much time, I need to do in in, in, in three minutes, you know, in a, in a, in a pop song. So um, I take a lot of notes from how they do that, and this record specifically is kind of like a movie. There's so much imagery in there, and there's so much, uh, there's just so much, so many words that create feeling and taste and color that I'm 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 really proud of it. And you know, this whole collection, 1159, really really has that weight to it that I'm really proud of. And that was on the writing end, and then there's the getting out there tour and produce and all you know all the millions of things you could imagine but the fact is the album's out and it's exciting and it's my little baby and I'm gonna throw it right out of the nest and hopefully watch it fly you know you may have heard of star before he was a contestant on the reality show rock star supernova and his hit brand new day is the theme song for the television program lie to me the world of your 